everybody. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick journal supplies haul. And this was kind of all on a whim, but my friend was telling me that at Michael's they were having a sale for washi tape for 33 cents and I was like, take me there. The first set of things that I'm gonna show you is all from Michael's. And obviously I'm gonna show you my washi tape. We got a lot of washi tape. I'll just do some up closes here, but these are my three washi tape that I got. Um, and I kind of did a heart theme, love theme, but then I also got this uh, measuring tape one because I'm gonna use that for my Bible. Um, I'll probably show you guys what it is in, in my walk through my Bible video. And here's what my sister got. My mom and I picked these out for her. And then these are the ones that my mom got. And my mom loves washi tape, so she got a lot. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? They're having a sale, so we went a little ham. So then the next thing that we got, which was um, just these brushes. And it was $24, $5, so a really good deal. We're going to be using these on our missions trip. We're going to be painting frames, and so we needed something cheap and something that would work. And then lastly for Michaels, we got this Mod Podge. This is really good for when you paint your Bible, because, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but my sister painted her own Bible, <laughs> and it turned out really good, but the only problem is that the paint chips off, and so you really need something to coat it, and we got it in the matte version, um, but they also sell it in glossy you're into that. So the next set of things that I got was from Five Below and Five Below, let's be honest, not the best quality but if you are trying to ball on a budget then this place is for you. I wanted to get more into art, doing art in my journal, painting in my journal and if you didn't know my sister is kind of the artist of the family so I told her look you gotta help a sister out. I'm terrible at painting and you are amazing so let's team up. So the first thing that I got were these acrylic paints. Never done acrylics before maybe in third grade when I was in art class but I was like look this is like more texture I can add some more texture to my journals and it comes in a lot of great colors including some metallics so let's hope these work. The next thing that I got is <laughs> some watercolors and I don't know if you saw my um, journaling video how to journal in three easy steps but one of the steps was to do watercolor and watercoloring just adds such a good dimension and we have um, these amazing watercolor brushes already but I was like why not take it back old school use some watercolors it's cheap if it doesn't if it doesn't work it's not like I spent a lot of money on it and my expectations for these are well, you know what? I take that back. My expectations for these are high. I want to have, I want to have faith in them, okay? And I might even do a journaling video testing out new journaling products, so this might be in it. And then the last thing that I got, now we really just, we, we hit the bottom of the quality uh, standards on this, but come on. I had to. I, I looked at these and I was like, okay, $3 for 30 Come on, what a steal. So I got them and we'll see how they work when I'm journaling. But I mean, 30 colors, people. We'll see. So that's what I got for my journaling supplies haul. And I'm super pumped to test all these out. And you'll probably see some of these products in some of our other videos on Coffee and Bible Time. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye!